हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सी ए विभूति नारंग वेलकम टू आवर चैनल वॉक्स कॉफ एकेडमी इन टूडेज वीडियो आई बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टी डी एस रिटर्न फाइलिंग ऑन द न्यू इनकम टैक्स पोर्टल एज यू ऑल मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज डिजाइन द इनकम टैक्स पोर्टल इन अ न्यू फॉर्मैट और इन अ न्यू डिजाइन और यूजर फ्रेंडली मैनर Now I have already uploaded a video earlier in which I have discussed about the TDS return filing and its online and offline uploading mechanisms. The middle part or one part of my video contained the uploading of the TDS return in an online format on the income tax portal. In the income tax portal being redefined, the steps have changed. Due to this, I decided to have a video which will describe about how to upload or how to file the income tax, uh, the TDS return on the new income tax portal. So let's begin with the video. We need to first go to the income tax dot gov dot in website. When you come to this new website, there is an option of login on the right hand side. then you have to click on the login tab once clicked on login you have to enter the tax deduction account number means the tax number which you hold and you have to continue the process after clicking on continue you have to tick on the confirm message which is below the login which says please confirm your secure access message once you click on that you have to enter the password associated with your tan login and then continue after continuing you have to select the e file option and the income tax form below them and you have to file the income tax forms as you are doing it for the first time so you will not be viewing the forms you have to just file income tax forms once clicked on income tax form you have to go to the last tab in the last column which says the deduction of tax at source it contains all the tds tds uh, tds and tcs returns 24q 26q 27q and 27eq on the right hand side there is an option of file now once you click on file now you have to click on let's get started click on this and after that you have to select the form the desired form for which you are about to upload the return after the selection of the required form you will then be selecting three things which is your financial year the year for which you are about to upload the return the quarter relevant to that financial year for which the return is being uploaded and the upload type whether it is a regular return or it's a correction of a previously filed return so once you have uploaded you have selected all these three fields then you have to upload the zip file which is earlier discussed in my previous video i'll be placing the link of that uh, video in my description box so that you get easy idea about how to prepare this fvu file in through the rpu process then you have to go to the right side proceed to e verify in the e verification process before that they'll be asking you that are you sure you want to proceed to e verify you'll say yes once you select to the option yes then you have to select the process through which you want to e verify that is how you will be e verifying your return so there are multiple options to it either it can be an aadhar registered number otp or it can be a digital signature certificate or you can get an electronic verification code through the bank account or your dmat account or you can say that you already have evc or otp so as all other options are just otp or evc based which you must normally be doing on other uh, websites and portals also but digital signature certificate was one thing which i have already covered in the previous video also so i'll be going through this process only you'll select that and you'll go to continue After clicking on continue, as you'll be first time doing so, so you require to click here to download the M Signer utility in the left side. After clicking this, the M Signer utility will be downloaded and installed in your system. And when that process is complete, then you have to tick to I have downloaded and installed M Signer utility, and then go on. continue so you have to place your dsc in the uh, meanwhile and you have to data sign your return you will be selecting your provider your certificate and you will be giving your dsc password and then the return will be signed in the sign option so once signed it is uploaded 
So this was a very small video in which I really discussed on a very limited part of a relevant topic. For future updates on any topics related to GST, TDS, income tax, you can visit my website or my social media handles for the same. Also, you can subscribe to my channel for future updates. Thank you very much.